right, in this example, we're going to uh, show, or just quickly show here, that the cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees is not equal to the cosine of 30 degrees plus the cosine of 40 degrees. So this says the cosine of the sum of two angles is not equal to the sum of the cosine of the two angles. In other words, I can't just separate them like that. So let's let's just do this with a calculator. So 30 plus 45 is 75. So I could rewrite the left hand side to say the cosine of 75 degrees. That's the same thing. And so we're going to show that this is not equal to the cosine of 30 degrees plus the cosine of 45 degrees. Let's use our calculator. All right, so let's let's get in degree mode. That's good. All right, so what do we say? The cosine of 75. All right, there's the cosine of 75. Good. And now let's type in the cosine of 30, and then added the cosine of 45. Oops, oops, go back. Not equal. Okay, so those two are not equal to each other. All right, so this leads us to the identity, and I'll just state this for you right here. So we have the cosine of the sum of two angles or arcs. So A is going to be angle one. So that's like my A is the 30 degree here, and the B is the 45 degree. So the identity says this is equal to the cosine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle minus the sine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. Alright, and then likewise, in similar fashion, let's do the cosine of A minus B. Well, that's equal to the cosine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle plus the sine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle. So these are considered your cosine, sum, and difference identities. Obviously, the one with the sum is the one with the plus, and the one with the difference, that's the one with 